Hello, everyone, again. Um, um, is, I hope this is recording. Seems to be. Actually, yeah, no, that's good. Um, I'm going to do another video instruction guide thing. Uh, and this time I'm going to be looking at the website, uh, which uses, <coughs> excuse me, web, WordPress. So I've logged in. And my mine might be slightly different. I get a, a few more because I'm the administrator. I get a few more things that show up on the site, which don't show up on yours. But the main function of where we've set up the uh, Leicester Story site, let's just bring it up on um, on Chrome as well, on Google Edge, uh, Microsoft Edge as well, because as you can see Firefox tends to block instagram for some reason it used to do it with twitter as well uh, but all the functions are still there uh, it's just that it's not showing up uh, as third-party content i think it's 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 like a cat and mouse game about privacy and uh, unless you have your you know your settings correct on your browser so that's why you've always got to check multiple browsers for things that you're doing uh, but i like firefox um because it gives a higher level of privacy um and anyway it's uh it's fairly standard uh, these days. So the structure of the site uh, that if you come and visit the site is based around a couple of fairly simple and straightforward uh, things. So uh, we have posts, uh, two things that define a WordPress site. Posts, which are content that we're, uh, we're, we're adding as we go along, uh, and then pages, which is the content, which is fairly static. So the way we've got it divided up on this site is that our posts are going to come under these categories, these, these uh, subdivisions of information, and they're called categories. Uh, and I'll show you that on the edit screen in a minute. So we've set it up so that any content that we produce, which is about radio uh, or about uh, uh, ourselves as reporters, as Zoe's done here, or the podcast or video, uh, or if we're sharing stories, they would come up under these here. So if I just click onto blogs, there's only one post that's been made on this. Uh, and if I click onto that post, uh, it just says that it'll be used to share blogs and updates. And, and I'll, I need to be writing some blogs about this to talk about the project. But if we look at the radio one, uh, then there's quite a few posts have been added about radio. Um, if we go to the about, so there's a section here about the project. I uh, could probably do with some better images in there and things like that, but that'll come over time. We're not too worried about that at this point. It's text driven mainly. Uh, and as you can see, there's a link in there. So it comes up in blue. And if I right click that link and open it in a new tab, it takes us to the DMU website, to the public engagement website. Um, and you can add links to, to your content. Uh, here we've got, <coughs> excuse me, the editorial standards. Uh, and what I've done here, open new tab, uh, is included a PDF uh, document. So we're able to share a uh, document which goes beyond what we post on the website and include some you know, other, other documents that work with the site as well. And then you'll see that there are things like sharing buttons. So we can, uh, it's always easier to open it in a new tab so we can share on Twitter, um, the Leicester Story site sharing something about Leicester Stories. Um, you can share it on there and change the description or you can go to, ooh, let's close that, go to uh, the Facebook group or you can share it onto whatsapp as well i think it does um yeah i've got whatsapp on my computer so it would it should take me to there uh but you might do it on from a phone or a tablet or something uh, again it goes to facebook um and there are there's, there's some other plugins you can get uh, at the top of the page you see facebook twitter instagram and youtube um so we've got a, a an instagram account and you posting stuff to the Instagram accounts. And we've got the YouTube um, site, which we're not sharing yet. We've not done content for that yet, but that'll come. Um, there might be times when we want to add some and share some video. So this is set, uh, uh, the banner was designed by Zoe. 
Uh, I think it looks really nice. Um, and you can do things like, like it. Now, if, you, if you're if you looking to edit a an existing page, a useful feature at the top here, at the top on the toolbar, it says edit page. Just get rid of these. <coughs> edit page, uh, and you can go straight into this page and edit the content that's in here. It's two views that you can use from WordPress to get a sense of um, what you're looking at. Excuse me, I'm just going to pass a water. There we go. That's better. Uh, you can either do it visually, that what they call WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get, or you can do it on the text, which brings up the, the HTML code that it uses. Uh, it takes a little bit more. It's, it's useful because it shows you what things are pointing towards and what they do. But I tend to use the visual editor because that's just as good as well. And there's a uh, in the editor, there's a text editor where you've got the functions to change the format of the text, uh, put it in bold, put it in italics, do bullet points, put things in quotations. I won't put update this, but if I wanted to put it in a quotation, it would do it like that and indent it, take it out. You can align it to the center, to the left, to the right. And then the other thing is if you wanted to add a link, you highlight the text and add link. And that's where you'd put the URL for the website that you want to go to or the media that you want to go to. You can edit that and edit the options um, so that it kind of, it might say a different level of text uh, or something. Uh, <clears throat> that's fairly straightforward. So our, po our page, so remember this is a static page that we're not changing very often. It has what's called in WordPress is a permalink, uh, which is the, um, it, it's the address, the URL that it's gonna go to. You can edit this uh, and it takes its name from the stack, the, from the, uh, uh, the, the permalink is based on the name of the post. You can set that to do it in different ways, like uh, a different kind of number and. I've set it so that it's the name of the post. So you just go, you know, lesterstories.uk slash editorial standards. And somebody should be able to find that. Um, they um, keep it as simple as possible and 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 change them as 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 seldom as you as you need to. Um, on the right hand side, you'll see that it's got uh, the status of the page, whether it's been published or not. Um, and this is published, uh, but you can actually edit that and you can change it to a draft or a pending review, uh, which is up to you. Um, you know, if it's, if it's a story that you want to share that's been written up and you want somebody else to check it first, put it as draft pending review and then somebody else comes along and checks it. And they can sign it off and make it visible or, you, or get back to you and say, yeah, that's OK to go and you can publish it. You can make it uh, public password protected or private uh, so that you can have particular posts. Say we did a story uh, or, or, or there was some content on the site that we only wanted certain people to access. You could put it behind a password or you can put it, make it a pri private one so that only people who logged into the site can access it. Um, and then the other one is you can actually set the date. So if you wanted to preload some material but release it, say, on uh, the 30th of March at a certain time, you can edit that. One of the tips, what my students used to do was when they were building, uh, uh, using WordPress was they would um, write their posts the night before. You know, I wanted one each week at least uh, over about eight weeks. And, and they'd write, so often people would just write them the night before and change the time of when it was published and, and backdate it. Uh, but you could always tell because they were, they weren't very well written um it's like yeah great um what we see here as well is what's called page attribute so some pages you can set with a parent so if there was a sub topic say community media had a sub topic about i don't know uh participation or uh diy media or something that was relevant to that then you could set that page to have that as a subtopic that's that's uh the, the point of keep, and I always work on the basis of keep the number of pages that you're working with down uh, to, to, to the bare minimum that you can. 
Uh, the other one is a template and different templates have different pages have different templates, different themes have different templates. Just keep that at the moment on default template. That's fine. And then the other thing that you can do is you can take out the, the sidebar. So we've got um, Instagram and uh, Twitter on the sidebar at the moment, but you might want to remove that and have no sidebar or you want to move the sidebar over to the other side. For consistency, I tend to keep it uh, in the same position. Uh, you can ask it to show likes and you can put the uh, sharing buttons at the bottom. But if it's a post uh, that you don't want to pe you know, people to interact with like that, then you can take that out. <clears throat> and then it has this feature called features, featured image. This is perhaps more relevant for our posts rather than our pages. But what it does is it allows us to embed an image, and I'll, I'll show you how to put the images in in a second. And it puts a featured image in, which then would be shown on the front. So if I update this, and then there's the view page, so I'll right click on that. I always do it like that. I always view the page in a new tab, because then you can make any changes to it on the open tab. There we go. It's put a pitch. It's now put a picture in for it. Um, so I might leave that in there because I think it looks good. Um, so we can we can add that. So let's go back to the home page. And what we want to then do is look at our posts. So these are our posts, but I'm going to come at it from a slightly different direction. So if we go up to the top and then go to the dashboard. And my dashboard is going to be different than yours. You might be able to see different things. I've got things like the Google site kit, which tells us, um, oh, I thought I'd sign in with Google. I thought I'd already done this. Hang on. This is a uh, allow. Let's reconnect it. Maybe it just come disconnected. So <clears throat> there we go. This this will tell us how you know, it, it's where where sites are the top search queries for our site are from University of Leicester. There we go. Um, people looking for Japanese car blocks. That seems to be a, a reference point. <laughs> Pilates classes, uh, Faulkner. <laughs> what what's happening here? <laughs> it's like you're drawing a lot of traffic to our site, uh, which is great. <laughs> It's fine. I don't know how that works. I'm not very good with Google. I've never really, I don't do SEO and stuff like that. I'm more interested in the content. The other thing that you've got under, so underneath the, the Google site kick, kit is you've got uh, the Jetpack, which is a plug into the website. It's free and there are paid versions. I only ever use the free version, which is where you have the, again, I'm not sure what you get to see in your, uh, version of the site but it's things like it just helps uh, there's some plugins that help you the speed uh, that help with how you show images um, and how you allow people to copy and paste things and what we use the most is the um, uh, the sharing uh, which should be set up to use to share on twitter we should be connected sharing buttons so it's just Check this. Um, so this goes through the the, the jetpack is managed slightly separately from the WordPress site. It should be letting us in. Um, there we go. Why has it done this? Seems to have reset. Uh, start for free. Don't know why it's reset these things. Uh, settings. Um, sharing connect your social media accounts and we should be oh yes we are we're connected so this is now looking at this not on the site but on wordpress.com so the site it's a plug into the site and it's managed separately from the site this is where some confusion can take place i need to get the facebook uh, account set up on this so i'll i know colson has got that so i'll sort that out and the Twitter feed is connected and the Instagram feed is connected as well. Um, it doesn't have that many different kinds of sites that we can connect to. Uh, LinkedIn is a very useful one. Uh, we might look at doing a LinkedIn one at some point. Um, don't tend to use Google Photos. Go uh, MailChimp is useful if you want to do a mailing list. So let me go back to 
<coughs> Leicester Stories website. I can close that off. Uh, and then what we've got, so that's Jetpack. Um, and then what we've got is click on posts. And this is all the posts that have been added as opposed to the pages. So this, there's a click uh, feature here for pages. So these are all the pages uh, that I've set up. So we've got our privacy data protection page, safeguarding, uh, the kind of complaint process, those static pages, but the posts are the things that there will be hundreds and hundreds of these once we kind of up to speed. Uh, and it allows you to uh, organize the posts by different categories. And that's how we check things and find things on the site. So we've got categories here and the categories I've set up on this. And again, keep this minimal. The, the fewer categories, the better. You don't need to have a lot. Think of categories as if you like your very generic uh, type of post, uh, rather than it being something which is, uh, you know, covers every opportunity. So graphics, a subcategory of that could be magazines, could be album covers, could be coffee cup decorations. Well, that then gets silly. You're trying to kind of cover everything. But what you can do is you can use tags. So a lot of the tags get set in where you can add new tags, where you can do uh, those subcategories because you can search when you're searching for the site, for content via the site, you can search via the tags and you can use a tag cloud as well. You can put a tag cloud into it. So there's lots of, you, be, you begin to build up over time what the, you know, the most used tags are in the site as well. So it's that kind of taxonomy searching. But so categories, Keep your categories to a minimum number of, you know, very, very few. Um, and, but the posts come in this kind of stream. So, and, the, and you, you know, you'll have hundreds of them as you go, as you, as you build up. Uh, it tells you who the author is of the post. Um, if I go into quick edit, <clears throat> one of the things you can see I can do is I can change the author. Where's that? There we go. So I can change the author and make it look like somebody else um i did that with the with the earlier post that i put up rather than putting them in my name or put them in the site admin name um so that it's kind of like a generic uh, content and again you can change the categories quite early easily so this one says reporters and if we need to change the, the the title and there's tags built into it as well um and it tells you that it's been published now if we wanted to keep one particular post at the top of the page at the top of the pile you just put make the post sticky uh so let's uh, cancel that so we can go through this so let's go on to this next one which is less and i'll click onto this one and it takes us to the um this is this this is the post i put with our content uh, from saturday and i just wrote a brief very brief descript description, probably could write a lot more, make it a lot more interesting, uh, but I'm relatively lazy. <laughs> so I didn't do that. You can see <clears throat> it's got the category radio uh, and then the publicity setting, publicized settings. It's been out as a message on Twitter to uh, Lex Stories. Uh, it's not connected with WordPress, uh, but it does post to, uh, to, to, to Lex Stories and it, I'll take you through to the settings, which we've already seen. And it's been published. Um, just switch between the text and the visual editor. So this gives you a, a this is what's called a, a code. Well, is it a code? I can't remember if it's got a slug or something like that. Uh, for It tells it that put an MP3 player in there and put a link to the file that you're, um, you're using. Uh, and and that just tells me what what what's in there, and it but automatically puts in an HTML uh, five is that what they call it HTML player. Uh, so it'll it should come up in all modern browsers uh, consistently. Um, so it's it's built in there. So let's go to go back, and I'm going to view the post in a new tab. There we go, we've got a post, it's got an image in there. And then um, I just want to then 
share sound. Hopefully you can hear that. That's the hello. It's I've come out on Saturday. The yeah, so that's that was us at the clock tower uh, on Saturday, <laughs> and that's embedded in that post. So I'm going to go back to where it says go back uh, edit post and look at the image. So the featured image um, on this post is quite large. Um, now let's have a look at the media. Uh, file because that might then give us a connection to uh, the next set of things so here we have media library um, one of the things you've got to do when you post something is update if you want it to be published you've got to update it uh, so it, it won't say but it should ask you uh, do you want to move away from this page if you've not updated it so if you make any changes it should ask you to update the published version uh, now, the, the library is uh, where the uh, video, audio and image content is, the graphics and any pictures we add to the site is con is uh, is stored. <clears throat> I'll just change the view so that it's um, you can have two views where you can either view the images like this in a tile or you can view it as a list uh, and you get little thumbnails. If I click on. Uh, this is a mp3 file if i click on this uh, it brings up the information about the file when it was uploaded who uploaded it um, and it allows you to copy the link sometimes that's useful for when you're doing the podcast it tells you what kind of media it is uh, it tells you what the uh, the bit rate was for using it and you can also put additional information in here about uh, the license uh, so this might be something that we want to get into having as a standard, what they call metadata. So it adds metadata to the file um, so that what you do is built, gets built into the file. And then if somebody downloads it and uses it, it's got our data and our information in the file. And as you see here as well, it has uh, a file name. Now that was the, this is the file name uh, of the, of the MP3 file. Uh, the, the, the reason it's got this type of file name on, on it is because when it goes up onto the Leicester Community Radio server, that's the delete date. So it'll be deleted on, on, on the 1st of the 5th. Uh, so it'll come off their message system then. Uh, but other than that, it's the same kind of file name structure as the last one that we looked at. Uh, so let's go back to the library. And, and you can go through this. So let's see a photo. One of the things you can do with the photos is you can do some basic editing on the photos. So size is an issue for a lot of these photos. You can see that's quite large, 1098 by 768. Um, bear with me. That sounds like a knock at the door. Ah, here we go. I'm back. Uh, that was somebody delivering something. So, okay. Um, so the file size, it's, that's okay. Cause it's 198 kilobits. That's fine for, a, uh, but sometimes if you've got a file that you've just uploaded and it's a megabyte or two megabytes, that's too big for a website. So you might want to reduce the file sizes, uh, before you upload them, but you can, uh, if you go to, where's the edit, edit image, you can, scale the image uh, so you can change it so if i change this to 800 and it automatically adjusts it to whatever it be as be the scale i'm going to hit that actually because i think i do want it slightly smaller and then you just do and then it asks you on what you want to edit as well so the th all image sizes just the thumbnail or everything else except the thumbnail uh, just click all image sizes and again you can add metadata and one of the useful things uh, is really important uh, and increasingly important is the point, point that I always forget is, you know, when people are using um, visual aids, uh, you know, the, the, the screen software that allows you to, you know, if you're visually impaired and you roll over the image, it will read the description and the text. So it's, it's always a good habit to get into when you're putting images on to also add that additional data of the file name, what it does, the description. I'm really lazy. I just 
take, I just copy and paste one thing, you know, in and put it into each category. Um, it doesn't, doesn't make that much difference. So I'm going to update this. So there we go. Uh, and then go back to the library and to add a new file or a new piece of media, <coughs> excuse me, it's really easy. You just select files uh, and you find your uh, piece of audio or video or um, image, press open and it will upload the file. And then I've set it so that it can upload up to 256 megabytes. Uh, that should be more than enough for what we're doing unless we're, video will probably host on YouTube rather than hosting it directly on this site. I'll just look at edit uh, and go into the file here because I'm going to delete it in a second. So it's got this information uh, that we wanted uh, from the file. So hit delete. Uh, okay. So And, and it, it's, it's kind of them file naming and making sure that people use the right, you know, a consistent type of file name is, is very useful. Uh, when often people use casual names for, for files and you can't find your way around, you've got to listen to it and find out what it is. If, if you can be descri as descriptive, as blunt and descriptive as possible, uh, and things like including the date uh, is really important. Um, so as you see here with this, this, this is just taken off the JPEG uh, that I made. I've got, I didn't add a descriptive file name to it, but uh, with this one I did. Um, right, so we've also got one of the things you might notice when you, let's go to uh, new on the toolbar is probably, if you want to add a new post, just go to new and post. Uh, and one thing we can do is we can insert YouTube videos. So from here, uh, I would click on the YouTube. So if we want to embed a single video, you put the URL in. If we wanted to embed a playlist or a channel, uh, similarly, you'd put the link in for the, the channel or the playlist there. And that will put the YouTube video into the post as well. Um, you, sometimes you can just directly copy and paste a link, uh, uh, you know, the, the short YouTube uh, link into this and it will pick that up. Uh, but this just gives it a little bit more structure. Um, and at some point we'll put a, a YouTube channel together uh, with the, and we'll put that on the, you know, into the site so that it can be something that people can find and go to. Um, so uh, one of the features of WordPress, which you, most people turn off because you end up just with lots of spam, is the comment feature. We've had one comment. Um, so which is a kind of positive comment, which is good. I approved that earlier. Uh, so every time you log into the site, you might be fi find that there's a lot of kind of Russian um, Bitcoin <laughs> sellers trying to get you and, and you know, self-help groups and uh, spam groups that are, are out there. Uh, we can we do have a feedback form. Um, I, I've not included it on this at this point, uh, but there's a there's there's a form that we can put in. Uh, and then the other area that you might use is the theme customization. But again, we can look at this a bit later on once we've got into the habit of post, post and post. So we, we can make some changes to it. And uh, Zoe learned how to change the banner, which is really good. Um, it's fairly straightforward. It's just that sometimes I find when you're not familiar with it, you end up going from one section to another section and backwards and forwards. And that can be a kind of pain. On WordPress, you guys might not see this section, but there's the plugins. So all the kind of WordPress is built around the idea that you have the core function of the site. And then what you do is you add lots of extra plugins to it. So the Jetpack is in there. The Google Kit is in there. Uh, there's some stuff to help with the uh, the theme. Uh, there's some stuff to help with um, the email that comes through the site as well. So that works properly. Um, and then you've got your user management. So each of us here who are users and what level you're at and whether you're connected to Jetpack and WordPress, things like that. So that's useful. And then some admin tools about uh, importing and exporting some settings to change things like the, the privacy settings and the date and time, um, the uh, uh, email settings that I've set up on this. PowerPress uh, is something we might use in the future as a podcast uh, plugin so that we can upload stuff to iTunes and Google automatically. It's what I use on my 
my websites. There's something for database management as well. So as an overview, um, that should tell us a little bit about what the site can do. Uh, the main thing is don't forget it's posts that you guys will be using. Uh, if you've got a featured image, so you see these uh, posts haven't had a, features, a featured image included with them. Uh, so we might, I'm just going to go into edit post. I think it does it look, you know, we'll make a decision as we add more content. Uh, is it something that is better with uh, different types of images? So I'll do that. Update. Um, let's go to visit the site. And there we go. Let's put that image in there. Uh, and it's just a little bit more visual. Uh, with what we're doing so the more the more pictures we can build up <clears throat> so if you've got any pictures that you're happy to share uh, then just upload them to the media uh, folder I can pl put in a gallery uh, but that that might come later just just use the media folder for the moment um, and then we can we can add that to it um, and Zoe's post has come up on Twitter which is good to see so as you as you add new posts and new material, then it comes up with 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 new posts through Twitter and um, does it let Instagram know? No, I don't think it shares to Instagram, uh, but there might be a plugin for that. So if we decide we need it, we'll use it. Right, let's stop the share. So uh, again, any questions, any any thoughts, any views? If that's like too too much of a whistle stop, let me know. Uh, I, from years of experience of this, honestly. The most stupid questions are the most essential questions. So if you're not sure about anything at all, just let me know. I'm very, very happy to uh, to, to, to show you how little I actually know in practice. You know, it, uh, it looks, I, I tend to find my way around by kind of trial and error, even now, even though I've been using this for such a long time. Uh, it's like you, you close your eyes and you see WordPress, 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 but after a while you get used to it. So have fun speak to you later and uh, and let's chat later in the week